Hello, and welcome back to Factory Town. In the last episode, we finished up what we could of the uh, the, the mall over here. This, this manufacturing center that's making belts, rails, and pipes. Uh, we, we can't make magic rails, magic belts, or uh, omni pipes just yet. Or actually, not even mana pipes just yet here. Because we need to finish up making the various... Um, the various crystals over here, mana crystals and the elemental crystals over here, as well as Omni Stones eventually for the Omni Pipes. Uh, but we need to take a little break from that because uh, we have a dearth of purple coins. Uh, we're making a few because of the, um, the mana bricks being sold. They're being made here now that we're actually making them again. Uh, we had a magma issue in the last episode. But we talked about uh, taking a small detour away from away from the making of the uh, of the things over here to making some more purple coin related stuff like uh, that's sold here at the specialty goods uh, specifically things like wards or uh, magic robes magic cloaks these kinds of things we um, we would need to have mana crystals for these but these are just everything made here that uses uh, some kind of crystal is just a recharged crystal so we just need the seed amount not a steady amount uh, we do have in our spreadsheet uh, in my in my spreadsheet i should say uh, we do have the calculations already done for wards and i did that one already because of there's a trade somewhere i should have looked for the trade before i started here it is uh, that takes that takes wards and sells them for medical wraps but we didn't end up using this trade however uh so we didn't need to have the wards available for this but we did need we do have the calculation available so we might as well make them so uh wards take uh well let's actually see how many we need ward wise here uh so this needs um this needs ward 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 2 point up to 2.5 uh, between 1.7, no, 0 0.71 and 2.5. So it's quite a range. Um, but it's actually a tough thing because uh, wards are actually very time-consuming to make and space-consuming to make. And that's because enchanters cannot be boosted by any of the building-specific boosts. I have an enchanter over here someplace. So let's put that down and take a look at it. Uh, nothing in the um, in the enchanter can be boosted by anything other than the speed boost, the, the the global boosts. As we talked about several episodes ago, there are two different sets of boosts: global boosts and per building boosts. So the only thing we can do that affects these is the global happiness boost plus the global protection bonus that we can't research yet, but that we can research at the Omni Temple. So uh, we have. Um, so if we want to make 2.5, up to 2.5 wards per second, then uh, we look at this, and this can make, will eventually make four wards uh, every 10 seconds because of the, the speed multiplier of, of eventually uh, four here, 400% here. We're up to plus 200% happiness. We're two-thirds of the way there uh, in terms of the total happiness here, but we two-thirds of the way is... At this level, 5,000 happiness is max happiness, so we have a while to go yet. Uh, so, anyways, we're going to uh, we're going to be able to make four every 10 seconds. That's 0.4 per second, which means that if we want to get close to the two and a half per second that we need here uh, to keep everyone happy and satisfied, and and both of these boxes pretty full, we're going to need to have six enchanters making wards, which is a lot. But the good news is that. That's not a lot when when you look at the um, at the total the total uh, everything else buildings that we need because from this all we need is uh, stone masons making the polished stone and then we need some reinforced planks being made or being brought in. I thought about this and I thought about making taking bringing in Jesus oh peace Wally English bringing in the reinforced planks that we're trading for over here. Uh, we do have kind of a surplus of them, um, although we probably don't have a very much of a surplus of them. So we could either boost this production, which means another setup like this of six buildings, or we could do a, what do we need, 2.4 reinforced planks per second, or we could do the reinforced plank 
set up uh, that we aren't we don't actually have built anywhere but that is two workshops a lumber mill a forester and then oh no I know what I meant to do that's not what I meant to do at all what I meant to look at was this one this one we are overproducing these by quite a bit right this is where we want to steal the, the reinforced uh, planks from I think because we can eat more easily boost this than anything else because all we're providing here is iron Actually, we're not providing enough iron here. I, I assume it's because we need to do some prospecting here. Or we need to just bring iron in via train. That might be the better option. Maybe I'll set that up. Uh, but we want to steal some of these reinforced planks from here, which means that we need to take them into this train station so that we can steal them. And so what I want to do here is split off of here, uh, but use a uh, priority? No. Sorter, no. What's the thing called? Uh, pusher. We want to push it this way. And actually, I think I'm going to upgrade this this belt to metal from here to here. And then we want to take a cloth belt off of this down. That's good. And maybe right into there. Need a metal belt there, though. I think. Uh, this way, that it always provides to here. It only comes down here when we have overflow. Why is it not? Oh, I know why it's not. This needs to be that way. Um, because the, the, the belt needs to be in the direction you want it to go if the pusher isn't able to push. Or it doesn't have any room to push to. We'll go into there. And that will go into here, and we need to configure this with uh, reinforced planks and reinforced planks. And we'll let that fill up as it can. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to, we're probably gonna have to boost this up a little bit more, but I think that's fine. So we'll pick, we'll set up a train that comes from this station here and comes out and we'll set it up out here, I think. This here can go. This is making wheels, wooden wheels. We have wood wheels in a barn here. So yeah, so this whole setup here can go. We don't need it anymore. Um, although we are using the planks part of it, maybe. Are we buffering the planks too? Or not? We are. Okay, good. So I think we can probably do away with this whole setup right here. And that way we can use this space for other things. Let's... Uh, yeah, let's take this out. We have a bunch of logs in here. Oh, we didn't have a buffer for logs, I don't think. We might have to do that at some point, depending on... Very few buildings actually take logs, so we might not need it, but... I'm deleting all this so that it goes into the base. Because the stuff in the base always gets used first. Now, what I want to do is... Uh, I think we're going to set these enchanters up on this hill here. Maybe like this. Two, three... It's expensive. Four. Five. Yeah, that's good. Can I put it up there too? We don't have enough stuff. But the six want to go there on the same level, which is perfect. And then we'll have a train station in here someplace. Uh, train station. Let's go a few away just so that I can make sure that I get... Actually, we'll go here. Two should be fine. Um, so make sure I get everything in here, plus we need to re return the planks out. So we're going to need to have a couple of lines here of things. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six kind of thing. Um, yeah, it'll be a little bit, a little bit fun, but I like stuff like this that works out kind of, kind of crazily, but kind of fun too. So with six enchanters, um, I lost my spot in the spreadsheet here because I was moving it around. We need three stone masons. Well, that's easy to set up. Stone mason. We'll just do a one to two setup here, making sure that I do... Oh, wait. This one goes here. This one goes here. And this one... I didn't want help. I want move over to here. I think that's right. Uh... Polished stone. 
because these conveniently produce will produce four polished stone every 10 seconds and we need to have wait a minute oh we're going to boost these uh these need to be air boosted because we need these to produce eight polished stone every 10 seconds so that we can provide four polished stone every 10 seconds to each one yes oh and these will take the omni stone upgrades too so that we can speed them up but it's only 40 percent each time and omni stones are kind of expensive so that'll be that can i build this yet yes i can we're producing a lot of those that's good where am i producing those that go into a barn am i still doing that over here i am okay so we're gonna have to set set up a little bit bigger of a build of the uh um, mana, mana bricks as well than we have here so we can compensate for that. Oh wow. That mine has done a good job of sparsely picking through that iron. <laughs> it's kind of funny looking. Okay, here we are. Uh, and then we need to have at least one mine. Uh, it needs to have six workers in it, so that should be fine because these are so slow. Um, eventually we're going to produce, we're going to need to have rather uh, 40 stone every 10 seconds so that's four stone per second times three no i'm sorry i did the math wrong again 80 stone per every 10 seconds because we're going to earth boot or air boost this 80 stone times uh times three or divided by 10 is eight times three is 24 stone per second so um so we can do this in one mine as long as we have enough shoots coming out of it Let's uh, set up a mine, and I think we're just going to do the six shoot setup. Uh, can I get that almost? I can almost get that last brick, but not quite. Oh, look at that. There's a relic from a bygone era there. So I think what I'm going to do is... Do I really want to do this part? I think I do. Um, no, you know what? Let's just move these over by one. 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 And then what I'm going to do is have a chute that goes straight into that one. A chute that goes like this into this one. And then a chute that goes like this into this one. And then we'll do a... No, not there. There, there, there. And we'll have a chute that goes like this. And a chute that goes like this. And a shoot that goes like that. And then we needed six workers. And this will be an earth boosted mine as well. Because uh, each each uh, worker is worth... Oopsie. Each worker is worth two stone every four seconds times four because of this, the eventual production boost. So that's eight every four, which is two stone per second. If we earth boost it, then each worker is worth double that amount. So each worker is worth four stone per second. And we need to have 24 stone per second, so that's six workers. All right, so that's that. Uh, these all need to go uphill. Let's put in a slope block here and here. And then these are... Uh, it'll be it'll eventually be eight every ten seconds, so it's less than one per second. So we're good with a slow belt here, a cheap belt here. Uh, nope, I did that wrong. Okay, Wally, there we go. That's what I did on the other side, if you recall, or uh, last episode or two episodes ago. I connected one uh, stonemason to two wherever they were goings and messed it up. Okay, so that takes care of those. We need to bring over the mana crystals that we're going to seed this with. I didn't take that into account. Uh, we can put those here. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay, how many mana crystals are we going to process now? We're going to process four every ten seconds. Four every ten seconds means... Um, at a recharger can can process. We'll go. Th uh, let's go that way. A recharger can process 
um, one every four seconds, static, because it doesn't, these aren't affected by the speed boost. And again, the only Omnisone upgrades we can handle here uh, is only 40%, so it's not really that worth it. Um, one every four seconds, so four of those can process one per second, and we have four every 10 seconds, which is 0.4 per second, eventually. This is 0.25, so we need to have two rechargers per... Hmm, 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 hmm. This will go there and there. That won't work. Uh huh. Stupid slope messed me up. And I was thought I was being clever by using it. Let's take all of this out in this column. And can I move these back by one? Which buys me enough space. Uh huh. And that works out just fine. Conveniently, I left myself some space there. And then these can get bumped this way. But they'll go on either side of the belts. Like that. Like this. And like this. And then we need to do uh, mana pipes. And mana pipes. Oh, I forgot about that too. Shoot. Uh huh. Okay, we're gonna have to do some terraforming here. I mean, some some stones just got put into the base, but I really don't care that much about it. Let's do um, terrain flatten up. Oh, someone told me in the chat. I think it was Sin. Sign. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Page up and page down. Embiggen the uh, thing here. So uh, keep that in mind if you need to make things bigger. Uh, let's do that, but I want to delete this one too, which means more things in the thing. And I think these got to come out too. Uh, this goes like this, like that. Mm hmm. And that's fine. I'm fine with one hang, hang over there, hanger over there, but I need to have a little bit more in this front. That comes out. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Yeah, I think that is enough, actually. Alright. That'll be better, because now we have six tiles that we can connect to here, at least. I'm going to turn my, my map before I go into... I don't know how to... If you can turn this... I don't, I don't think there's a way to rotate this map. Uh, once you're in the top-down view like this. Okay, mana pipes. We're going to come out here and into there and into there. And then we're going to come out of here. And we're going to have to go like this for this one, the outside ones. And then this one's going to come out like this. Mm-hmm. Go like that. Like that. It doesn't really matter which order I do this in as long as I make sure that I stop at each connection point. You go like this. So that they connect properly. And then this one can go like that. Because it couldn't connect there automatically. All right. Now we just need to bring in the mana crystals from someplace. I wonder if there's any in the base that we could steal to start with. There's three. This isn't even worth it. Okay. But we have plenty right here. So let's um, recycle this line. We're going over here. Go this way. And then we need to seed this with enough to process everything. Which I think I'm just going to wait until it's full. And then disconnect. Because they're not processed, they're not making anything yet. So just disconnect the connector. And then make another one there. Why do you not work? Maybe I did take that out too. There. Okay. We'll, we'll go with it. 
And I can take that out. We're going to put a few of these in the base again, but that's okay. We go in there. There. Let's, um... Disconnect that. I think we have some. Maybe we don't have enough. We may not have enough. Did I do this one? I think I did. Yes, this one's done. Because this is so, such a slow process that I think that'll be fine just to have 20 in each. You go there. And you go there. And we didn't quite do it. But we could potentially... Put a connector here. Put the mana crystals on it. Connect it up. And pull those out. And that might be enough. It is. Excellent. And I'm just going to let these two go back into the base. That's fine. Let's back out some of this stuff. Just so we have them available for reuse later. And then... I'll use... Oops. I'll do that just to take out that crossing. And we're back in action again. Okay, so now we just need to set up the trains. We have all of the polished stones made and delivered here. We just need to bring in the, uh, the reinforced iron plates, or reinforced planks... And then a reinforced iron plates is a satisfactory thing. And then we can uh, ship out the things we need to ship out. So let's uh, set this up first so I don't forget it later. Uh, reinforced planks, likewise. And then the output here is going to be ward, I believe. We are making wards, right? Yes, okay, we didn't do all the stuff wrong. That's good to know. And let's do a rail here. And then, how do I want to do this one, spaghetti-wise? Let's, uh, let's see, let's come out... Here? Yeah. Go down a bit. Then we'll turn like this. I think this will be fun. And we can turn again here. See where we're at relative to the ground. And also relative to their other rail. Okay, let's come out this way now. Turn. Delete that. I like doing these a little bit different each time. It's kind of fun. To do a little bit different of a connector. Did I just do that perfectly in the first try? I did. Nice. Okay, and then this one's going to come down the same. And it'll turn twice. Uh, we'll go, go that way. And then we'll turn this again down to there. And then this can go there. And then this can come into there. That's kind of a fun one. A little bit different this time. All right, so we need to uh, load wards, and we need to unload um, reinforced planks. We're going to have two separate trains for this. So the train's going to come this way. It's going to cross here to turn into there. And then here, we'll do an exit like this. Because they don't need to go this way at all. They can both just come this way and do their thing. So then we need a sorter here. Pause. This needs to be reinforced planks or wards. Okay, and then we just need to set up some trains. Wait for you to pass. Maybe you as well. Yeah, wait, wait for you to pass. But I'm going to snipe you here. Get. Okay, put that down. Uh, reinforced planks. Let's do two box cars of those. And then I think I'm just going to set this to be the train filter. And possibly regret it later. Uh, this is going to be reinforced planks also 
And while we're here, uh, no, actually not wards. Cancel. Uh, you go that way. Yeah. Engage. Alright, so now we need to come out here. We're going out to that one. Yep. This needs to be reinforced planks as well. And so does this one. And then we need to change the train loader also to be in reinforced planks. Okay. Make sure this works. You're being followed. Wait a minute. Why do I have two trains with reinforced planks? What did I just mess up? Oh, right, duh. The, the train that's delivering two... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The train that's delivering them here... How did that train work before? I'm confused. No, that train is going out here. Uh oh, this is this is not good. This is not good. We've got one train that's supposed to be coming out here for the reinforced planks that go into here. Now coming the wrong way. Hmm. 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 Okay, so I can't do this. I have an idea. I have a solution, even. I don't know which one of you is which, but I don't really think it matters. But I need to take this off of this. And this off of this. Because this train is going to be not signaled by the reinforced planks, but it's going to be signaled by the wards. And it's going to have... Stop. It's going to have four boxcars on it. And it's going to be not filtered here, but instead going to be filtered on the per car basis. I'm going to let that other train do its thing here and go out and get... Eric, steal the, steal the uh, reinforced planks from here, possibly. Apparently not. Oh, because I didn't let it turn. Reinforced planks. Ward. And ward. All right. So what I want to do here is add ward to this filter, this filter, and this filter. So now, even though this train has reinforced planks cars and the wards cars, it'll still turn here because it's flagged for wards. Yes. And then it should load up some reinforced planks here. Yes. In the two cars that needed them. And there, that's going to get its pickaxes. Good. And then this will come back. Come back. Go all the way around here. Actually, it's going to also turn into here eventually. But that's fine. Uh, it's going to go all the way around here. And it's going to need to turn here also. And then turn here only. Yeah. And then this is loading wards and unloading reinforced planks. Where are you at? Here? No? Here? Yes. Uh oh. That's not good either. Shoot. How do I combat this? Because I don't want this train to turn here every time. <laughs> well, I think I might have to tag one of the trains, tag the other train as 
can you do multiple tags in here? Like, can I do enter and then do our plank supply? But then that's not going to take a turn here, though. Well, I'm going to make sure the coal train goes through here anyway. Oh, we finally unlocked the air temple. Nice. Now, where's my fuel train here? My coal supply train. Is that you? All the way over here? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to have to see if this works. I have to watch it. Wait till the train comes all the way back around. I guess in the meantime, we could uh, reverse all those air crystals. We could, but I'm going to get distracted and then miss this and then have to wait again. But I'm going to see if this train still turns in here because that's going to make a difference as far as the uh, reinforced planks go. This is you here? Yeah. Okay, it didn't. So, that's not going to work. Next thing to try, or to do, is the... Holy crap, we're getting jammed up here already. Okay, good. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want to come here and do this, take this out. Take this out. Okay, it is kind of like one line, even though it's multiple lines. So that's back to coal supply only. So what I need to do here, then, is to have a separate track comes this way. And goes this way. And then goes that way. And this one needs to have my... Uh, actually, it shouldn't be what I named it before, so that's fine. But let's call it uh, our, our plank uh, store. And now I want to find that little train. This one. And set that signal tag on it. And then... I think the rest of these can be fine the way they are, assuming that they still work. I'll have to test that. Uh, but this one needs to not have this filter on it anymore. Uh, no, that way. Okay, that's fine. And how about you? It's a long track out there, isn't it? Will you still turn? Okay, good. You will still turn. So now this this train should take this turn instead of that turn. And the reason I didn't change this one is because I'm suspecting that I have more crap out here. I think a lot of our tavern stuff's going to be out here. So I'm going to have a lot more trains going this way, and I think I want them to normally make this turn. Although, we have a problem fuel-wise. You know what? Why don't I just put these fuel loaders here and just let them fuel up as they pass each one? Who cares, right? Still the same amount of fuel being used in the end. So instead of having them on the spur, have them on the loop. I think that works better. Uh, you are here-ish. And I just set that one offset because of this here. All 
Alright. So I have no idea where my train is that has the wards on it. Over here. Nope. Did it get lost? It might have gotten lost, who knows. Not you. Hmm. I'm gonna have to find that train. <laughs> I don't think there's any place where they can get stuck. Seriously missing it? Or it vanished. Um, I don't know where that train went. You know what, though? Nothing's going to stop it from going in here, either. From it turning down here and unloading its... its reinforced planks every time. Oh, it's here. Okay. Wait, why is it stuck there? Because I screwed up the, uh... Oh, it's stuck stuck. Nothing's going to stop it from going... into here, either, though. Shoot, I'm going to have to think about that. I think we will pause here... Uh, I'll fix this track. Oopsie. I'm going to have to redo this whole train. That's why I was stuck. Um, and uh, we will figure this out in the next episode. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.